Taiwan has launched its first combat squadron of the F-16V. The F-16V is the latest version of the F-16 fighter jet equipped with radar that lets it track multiple targets at once. At a ceremony in Jai, President Tsai Ing-wen commissioned dozens of F-16Vs that were built in a retrofit program supported by the U.S. She said that the new squadron marked a new chapter for Taiwan's self-defense. Watch. Ready? Go! Ready? It's an aerobatic show with F-16Vs performing high-precision maneuvers in the sky. Ready? The display showcased the capabilities of the newly upgraded F-16Vs. On Thursday, the Air Force commissioned its first combat squadron of F-16Vs. President Tsai Ing-wen presided over the ceremony and completed a ground inspection in her capacity as Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. The retrofitted F-16Vs have better stealth, long-range reconnaissance, and beyond-visual-range missile capabilities. Their performance has been significantly improved, and they are better adapted to modern warfare. Taiwan plans to upgrade its entire fleet of 141 F-16AB fighter jets into F-16Vs. In addition, it will receive an order of 66 new F-16Vs by 2026. This model's main update is a radar called the Active Electronically Scanned Array, which can find, track, and lock on multiple targets simultaneously. Other upgrades are in the mission computer, cockpit instruments, helmet-mounted queuing system, and electronic warfare pods. This model can also be loaded with the latest generation of Sidewinder missiles. Besides improving Taiwan's defense capabilities, the new combat squadron marks a new chapter in Taiwan's aerospace technology. It also bears testament to the friendship between Taiwan and the U.S. The defense industry cooperation between Taiwan and the U.S. not only reflects progress in the Taiwan-U.S. friendship, it also reflects the two sides' firm commitment to their partnership. I believe that as long as we safeguard the values of freedom and democracy, more like-minded countries will stand with us. Chinese incursions into Taiwan's air defense zone have become increasingly frequent. At Thursday's commissioning ceremony, AIT Director Sander Odkirk posed for a photo with Tsai in front of a fighter jet. Officials said her presence underscored the U.S. commitment to ensure that Taiwan has the ability to defend itself.